Hello engineers, in this video we will examine how we can run commands in virtual machine scale sets like parcel or bus scripts in order to enrich their functionality. If you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Virtual machine scale sets let you create and manage a group of load balance VMs. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or define schedule. By this means, you can use auto scaling for this virtual machine scale sets and handle unexpected traffic. Virtual machine scale sets are commonly used inside Azure components. For example, they can be found into Kubernetes cluster or service public clusters. In order to locate our virtual machine scale sets, we should go first in the node pool of our Kubernetes cluster and locate our node pool, which is called agent pool. This agent pool consists of some virtual machines, as you can see, with a specific node size, the one that is shown in our screen. These machines that are of type of Linux are combined into one single resource which is called VMSS inside Azure and we can manage these virtual machines by using our VMSS. When we are inside our Kubernetes cluster we can navigate into the nodes pane and find our virtual machines which is located under our VMSS. As you can see there are three nodes and in order to find and execute commands on this node, we should first locate our VMSS. When the Kubernetes cluster is created, it automatically creates a new resource group under which it locates our resources. In order to find this resource group, we should navigate inside our subscription and search for the resource group. Then we can locate a resource group named like MC and there is our resources located for our Kubernetes cluster. Inside this resource group, we can locate our virtual machine scale set, which is used for our node pools and other Azure resources like root table, network security group, public IP addresses, and other components that have to do with our Kubernetes cluster. For this demo, we will use the VMSS resource and we will navigate into it in order to interact with the nodes that are located under it. The nodes can be located inside an instances pane. So under the instances, you can find all the nodes that are located inside this virtual machine scale set. If you scale this virtual machine scale set, then you will find more nodes appearing inside your VMSS. In general, the virtual machine scale set is a set of nodes that can be combined together for a common functionality. So think of our Kubernetes cluster, which is consists of some nodes. All the nodes inside this setup should have the same tools installed inside the VMSS and also they should be in the same version. When we press inside an instance of our VMSS, we can find the specific node which is running along with their IP address and other information that rely on the specific VMSS that we have created. Under the tab scaling, you can locate your VMSS instance and also you can use this horizontal auto scaler in order to create more instances inside your VMSS. Another important menu on the navigation bar will be extensions and applications and those are the extensions that are installed inside our VMSS. This means that when we install a new extension, this will be automatically be installed inside all our VMSS instances. So that will be installed inside all the virtual machines that are under this VMSS. We will try now to execute some commands on our VMSS instance. This would be the case, for example, if we needed to get some information or to install an additional component inside our instances. In order to do that, we will need to use the command az vmss list instances using the az cli, then provide the resource group under which this vmss is located, and also provide with the minus n the vmss instance name. So we can find the name here in the virtual machine scale set and by navigating in the overview, we can locate the resource group under which this VMSS is located. Then we will need to query and to provide the output as a tough CSV. Then by executing this command, we can find that we have one instance under our VMSS resource. And by navigating on Azure, we can locate this specific instance. This means that we have one virtual machine located inside our virtual machine scale set. Given that we want to execute some commands inside this virtual machine, 
we will have to use again the AZ CLI using another command. In our current setup, we use a VMSS which includes only Linux virtual machines. This is the reason why we will use the command ID run shell script. If we wanted to act in a VMSS running Windows virtual machines, we should replace the run shell script command with run parcel script command as shown here run parcel script then we will have to use the az cli again with the run command and invoke the command id as we discussed then we will need to provide the resource group and the name of the virtual machine scale set and as the last step we will need to provide the instance id the instance id would be the id of the vmss node and it can be taken from the above command as you can see it is the last thing that is included inside the output that we executed before so our instance id for this virtual machine would be the one so we have to use the instance id of one the most important parameter that we add inside this az cli command would be the scripts this is the script that we want to execute inside our vmss resource and here I'm using the host name. As a result, this will go and execute the host name command inside our virtual machine. So by pressing execute, we can find that it's starting and running this command inside our virtual machine. And we, by refreshing the state, we can see that the VMSS status is running updating. This would mean that our command is now running inside our virtual machine and nearly we will get the output of this command. After a while the command is executed and as a message we get the host name of the machine. As you can see, by changing the host name command to another command, we could install additional software components or get some information from the node that we needed. You must keep in mind that when you update your VMSS instances that this VMSS will be re -imaged. This means that every command that you have executed inside your nodes will be lost. As a result, this command execution in order to install software will be temporary. In order to make this persistent, you should have to use another way for your VMSS. And we will find out how we can do that right now. In order to install software persistently inside your VMSS instances, you should have to use the extensions. Using the extensions, you can go and add a new extension and there you could use the custom script execution that you can locate for Linux. You should press next inside this extension and then you can go and either provide a script file or provide a command that you want to execute in an inline parameter. This command will be added to the extension of the VMSS and this extension will be persistent inside your VMSS. This means that it will be installed inside your VMSS and then when a new re-image happens inside your VMSS, then this virtual machine scale set will go and execute the extensions that are installed inside your VMSS. This means that if you have provided install instruction inside your extension, then the software that you need will be persistently kept across your VMSS instances. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you use VMSS inside your subscriptions.